All right, guys. I got a little bit of work done. Figured I'd show you. She's taking gas uh, off the tank. Um, this uh, fuel shut off here is junk. It leaks the uh, fuel out of it. Um, I fixed the uh, down here. It just actually needs to be tightened up a little bit. Put an uh, air filter on it. Everything seems to be working good. I don't know if she'll fire right up or not. So I had to do some tweaking on the carbs. So. Oops, <laughs> I uh, forgot that I didn't fix this cable yet, so um, I gotta remember not to do that again. But, but anyways, uh, she, she runs, so I don't know if I just... I give her a little tiny choke or uh, throttle, I guess. Okay, I think she's gonna be stubborn now. <laughs> yeah, I think she's gonna be stubborn. Stubborn, but you know, uh, I'll figure it out here. Um, I took the uh, oh, no, the old, or the, yeah, old deal. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, all the old transaxle fluids right here. Uh, I put all new uh, hydraulic fluid in it. Let me turn it off here. Yeah, I uh, put all new uh, hydraulic fluid into it. Um, all that right there is uh, it uh, flowing out the, uh, the fill tube there. Cause it's kind of hard to do it with this. You gotta keep pressing it and then. You know, only so much would go into it, but uh, so yeah, she takes fuel from her tank now. Um, I gotta take the uh, jack, put it back on this side, put the wheel on it, and see if I can uh, get it to move back and forth on her own, and it'll be uh, be able to you know proceed on from there. Um, you know, I still got to get a throttle cable for it. I'm just going to replace the one over there, the original one. Um, I got to get a, a fuel shut off. I'm just going to get one of the plastic red ones. Um, uh, oh, actually, I'll take that back. I'm just going to get one of these. So I've like, actually already bought one of these. I'll just replace that. Um... I could probably use a new plug because this one's seen better days. I'm not even sure what the hell that says on it. P something M4. Um, there's still a bunch of stuff underneath this shield here, which kind of sucks because I really don't want to undo these head bolts. 
So I was kind of hoping it'd all blow, all blow out, but most of it's still there. It's there's really nothing in, in here. It's all basically on the sides, sticking out like down here, and then up in here. Cause I've already taken this shield off. Well, I bolted it here and here, and I just pressed it up against here and looked down in. There's nothing in there. It's just all up here. So if I get it all loose and hopefully it'll all blow out. I don't have to worry about it. But I don't know. I really don't want to have to take this one bolt out. I'm not sure if this bolt here is broke. It's, it's not even supposed to be there. Doesn't look like it. This one here. I'm not sure if it's broke off or or what. So I have no idea on that. Which kind of sucks. So it's also might be if it's broke off, that might be why it's doing the uh, pulsating. So it's got a leaky head gasket. But I'm not 100% sure. So, but at least I know this carburetor is good. For the most part, you know, it'll run, unlike that carburetor over there, which will not run. So, but, just taking fuel, I cleaned out the, the gas tank. It was actually fairly clean. I mean, it was really clean in there. There was a couple of things in there that was floating around. So, I took the fuel nipple off, and put some gas in it, and switched it around. And, pretty much everything came out, put more gas in it and plugged the, the fuel nipple and it basically took it all out so um i gotta paint this side here and i still gotta paint this here i really don't want to have to take these out but i'm gonna have to in order to paint it so i might as well just go ahead and do it and be done with it the top i gotta paint i'm just gonna more like just paint over these here well he's over here anyways um, I really don't want to disrupt them. I, what I'd really like to do is I just like to cut this whole tin right off. But I'd like to do because I hate these tins. They really don't do a, a whole lot of anything. But then again, it kind of hurts the choke over there. I don't have nowhere to put it. So other than undoing the one head bolt, which I really don't want to do. So it's basically hit or miss but uh this tractor really had a hard life whoever had it before me because all this really deep deep rust on it but I guess I'm going to clamp off this gas here and I'm gonna run the rest of it out and I think I'm gonna put the wheel on well, actually, I'm gonna put the wheel on. See if I can't get it to move. Yeah, if I can get it to move, that'd be cool. But I tried, I pressed the clutch in, and the belt was still kind of moving. So uh, I'm not sure if it's just because that wheel is off or what, but um, I gotta see what I can do for that. And hopefully, it's just a simple fix. And uh, go from there, I guess.